Hi everyone. Recently, I was able to attend two women's conferences. The first one I attended at my church in person, and the other one was the Women in Apologetics conference, which I attended online, which I'll talk about in another video. The women's conference at my church was a special event because my church doesn't really have a women's ministry right now, and it was the first time we ever had a conference just for us. The speaker was a pastor's wife who had a Master of Arts in Religion from Westminster Theological Seminary and a PhD in Counseling from another university. I helped out at the front desk, making name tags and things, and when the conference started, I joined the table with some other women, and we had food and introduced ourselves to one another. It was nice to meet some of the women at church I hadn't met before. After dinner, we had worship and the teaching session started. The speaker talked about the book of Ruth and how Jesus challenged systemic issues and was more than a reformer, but was the kinsman redeemer and how we could be kinsman redeemers to others. As I listened to the speaker though, I realized her message wasn't really specific towards Christian women, but to Christians in general. After the message, we had some time to talk with one another and answer the small group questions. At one point, one of the women at my table mentioned Matt Walsh's documentary, What is a Woman?, which I hadn't watched yet, and another woman mentioned how her daughter's bisexual and gay friends came to the church youth group a few times. I thought this was interesting, and since we had an opportunity to ask the speaker questions in the upcoming Q&A session the next day, I decided to ask a question about gender. My question went something like this. We live in a world where people are confused about gender. Besides the obvious physical differences, what do you think are some differences between men and women? What is the spiritual significance of gender? I turned in my question on a slip of paper and waited, eager to hear her answer. Unfortunately, I ended up being disappointed. Here's what happened. When the Q&A session started, one of the coordinators said some of the questions were very theological and they may not have time to answer them. I assumed she was talking about my question and felt disappointed. The speaker answered other women's questions, and most of them asked practical things like, How do you define confidence as a woman of God? Or, What made you pursue a PhD? I was surprised when my question was read aloud, but disappointed again when the speaker just said she would need a lot more time to answer this question, and mentioned how a lot of LGBT people commit suicides and how the church needs to be the safest place for them. So, she basically refused to answer my question. She then moved to another person's question, and I thought to myself, if I can't ask this sort of question at a Christian women's conference, then where else can I ask this sort of thing? I thought about Elizabeth Elliot, the Christian speaker and writer, and how she would have answered this question. In one of her talks titled, Real Men and Real Women, which is available to watch on YouTube, she said Mary, the mother of Jesus, was an archetype of true womanhood because she surrendered to God. And in her book, Let Me Be a Woman, in chapter 17, titled Masculine and Feminine, she wrote, God created male and female, the male to call forth to lead, initiate, and rule, and the female to respond, follow, adapt, submit. She also wrote, Every normal woman is equipped to be a mother. Certainly not every woman in the world is destined to make use of the physical equipment, but surely motherhood, in a deeper sense, is the essence of womanhood. The body of every normal woman prepares itself repeatedly to receive and to bear. Motherhood requires self-giving, sacrifice, suffering. She also might have mentioned how in marriage, husbands represent Christ and wives represent the church, as in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22. 
Of course, these teachings are offensive to many women today, even Christian women. So I can't say I was that surprised that none of this was mentioned at the women's conference. But even though it may offend people, I think we need to talk about these things and teach them. I think one of the reasons why so many young people are confused about their sexuality or gender identity nowadays is because they have never been taught what it means to be a man or a woman, and they also do not know the God who created them. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.